Okay, sit down. We're getting ready to drive. Sit your seat. Duke and I thought we would jump on here and say hi to everybody. As Duke blocks traffic. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Did everybody enjoy Friday night's episode? Hopefully this air is not too loud. It's a little warm in Ohio today. Don't forget Friday night, we got another brand new episode coming out. We're not quite for sure if it's going to be a haunted location or family haunting, so probably decide that sometime today. Other than that, we'll have a very special live for you guys Thursday night, so not quite sure exactly what time, but I think a lot of you guys will be very excited about this, so definitely check out Thursday night. I'll post something when we're going to go live. location that we've never we've been to but we've never like actually investigated it we were there it was related to a family haunting was the whole reason we were there and we've got the opportunity to go investigate thursday so but that's what we'll be doing thursday i know sean has been sick and rocky has got to have some surgery to I believe. I think he was supposed to find out for sure from his MRI. So hopefully those two get better pretty soon. Yeah, I haven't been on here in a little bit to go live, so See, Dookie, if you would sit down, you'd have better balance. Duke, sit down. Cat just went across four lanes of traffic, dodged every car, and made it all the way to the other side. That's a lucky cat, isn't it, buddy? You guys want to say hi to Duke? Still. Say hi, Dookie. See, I figured it'd be easier to jump on a live real quick and say thank you, everybody, for all your recent comments on the last episode. It's easier to jump on here and say thank you to everybody instead of trying to reply to every comment. Although we do try to reply to a lot of comments. Tell them, Dookie, say thank you guys. Duke says thank you as well. I'm Dookie. Yep, you did. Duke had a play date for about four days. I was doing some dog sitting, so Duke is very excited to be back onto his schedule and not have another dog in the house. Although you guys got along pretty good, didn't you? Which is my daughter's dog. He's only, not even, I don't know if he's a year old yet, but he is. Really enjoys playing and Duke enjoys his naps in the middle of the day and relaxing and going on car rides and you guys see my uh, cocaine bear shirt but yeah that's what we got going on Friday night I'll try to decide today which episode it's going to be not quite for sure yet I know it'll either be a family haunting, it'll be the location that we, um, 
investigate it after the tornado or it'll be the collab video with Paranormal Files, which might I say is a very, 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 very good episode. I think you guys will enjoy that. Duke, I think somebody's in our parking spot. Yeah, we better um, let's not park here, Duke. I park back here when the lunch lady leaves then I can take her spot Dick I think you got hair in my Kool-Aid was in my Kool-Aid. Silly goose. Now, quit drinking my Kool-Aid, Duke. Duke's a Kool-Aid man. Duke's a Kool-Aid man. Can you say hi to everybody? Are those kids out there playing? Mm -hmm. What is your guys' favorite flavor of Kool-Aid? I call this Kool-Aid, but it's actually those crush packages. So it's zero sugar and I think zero calories. One flavor may have like 10 calories. So it's not technically Kool-Aid, I just call it Kool-Aid. I like grape the best, but typically whatever I grab out of the box is what I put in it. And nine times out of 10, there could be literally 12 oranges in the box and I grab orange like every freaking time. But yeah, grape is definitely, grape and strawberry are my favorite and then the orange would be third favorite. So what did you guys think of Friday night's episode? I know Mia was working with the church and um, still working on some stuff behind the scenes. So hopefully, yeah, those cases where it's like an attachment, if it could be an attachment, something that like follows her around from location to location, those tend to be the hardest ones. For us, it's like easier if the house is haunted or the property's haunted. It seems like those are easier to resolve than um, the attachments. Are you trying to be on camera? So yeah, the last four days, dog sitting for my daughter. So my house was extremely loud with the dogs playing and stuff. So I didn't have the opportunity to go live. So we thought we'd go live here today with you guys. I just finished the uh, family haunting. I'm gonna put on Patreon here pretty soon. And then I just started yesterday editing the um, Mansfield Reformatory episode. 
which is pretty good. We had John there from Deep South Paranormal. I don't know if you guys remember that TV show. He does a lot of investigating. I feel like he was on another show at some point, too. So you'll get to see his cameo in the episode. Yeah, we had a really good time at the prison. You know you're having a good time investigating when you run out of time. Then Friday, oh, that lady's leaving, so I can take her spot. I think we'll just wait for the lunch lady to leave, because I'm already here. See, it will be nice to let somebody else have that spot, right, Dookie? So hopefully you guys are all having a good week. Try and read some comments. Got mods in here. Hello, mods. Let's see if we can get a question here. We have not taken Duke to any investigations. Vicki, I hope that your week gets better. I'm sorry to hear that it's going bad. I got a glare on my um, a glare on my screen. It's like everybody's saying hi to Duke. How many faces did you end up seeing? I only seen one face in that picture, but you have to, I have to admit, I'm not like super good at analyzing those types of pictures. Cause a lot of people will send us pictures of like, uh, mirrors and there'll be a face in it and stuff that they've taken and sometimes it's hard for me to make that stuff out i know it's got something i've seen studies on it where it's got something to do with whatever part of your brain's like the most active you can see because like people like literally send us pictures of doors with faces in it windows with faces mirrors with faces and unless it's something like totally obvious it's hard for me to make it out. I don't know if that's just being like colorblind, if it's harder to see that stuff. But with like Mia's picture, you know, I seen that right away. Which to me, it really didn't look like a man's face. It kind of looked like a freaking dog face, but. What did you guys think? Leanne thought dog too. That was, I thought it either looked like a dog face or like a man with like a beard or something like that. And we typically do take pictures during investigations. We just hardly ever capture anything in the pictures. Especially like if we're um, getting stuff ready for the cleansing and stuff. I will typically snap a bunch of pictures around the house just to see if I catch anything, and I normally don't.
I think Duke just wants the kiss today. He hasn't had a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one time the last five days, so he needs some attention. I do apologize, but I do have the AC on because it's almost 90 degrees out and I don't want Duke to get too hot, so. Guys, get that. Oh. Dukey, we don't want to do that again, do we? Dang it. Trying to get this so you guys can see. So you guys can say hi to Dukey boy. Duke, you're on camera. I just went through all that trouble to get the camera on you. Sit down. Sit. Everybody wants to say hi to you, okay? Just don't stare into the camera. Act normal. Okay. Just Got the AC on you. Are you upset now? Hmm? Okay, Dookie wants to go to the back seat. Camera's crooked. Hey, I can read comments better at this angle. Shout out to everybody on Patreon and channel members and all of you wonderful people across YouTube land. Yeah, I would flip the camera and read more comments, but there's a bunch of kids right out front here. And I don't want to put a bunch of kids on the live. Fun dookie. What was your scariest investigation? Um, I would say like the Pollock Hospital was one of our scariest investigations. I feel like that place is still open for investigations. That's in um, Bartonville, Illinois, which is just outside of Peoria. I don't believe there's been a whole lot of people in there to investigate, but I would say between that place and probably Penhurst, And now Mansfield's up there, which I just got through like editing the walkthrough. And now I'm getting to the investigation part. And the EVPs that Sean and I caught on the voice recorder out of Mansfield is absolutely crazy. So you guys will get, you guys will enjoy those. Yeah, Mansfield was really one of those investigations where, because I think we were there like, I think we had like six hours to investigate from like seven to three, however many hours that is. And uh, it went by so quick. I mean, just as we were getting into, we didn't even hit probably 40% of the prison. So we'll definitely have to go back there again. But some locations are just that big and that active where time just flies by. Has anybody ever investigated Mansfield in here? Give a thumbs up if you have. LJ did a tour. I did something very special at Mansfield. You guys will all be you'll enjoy it. I did the first, I think I'm the first. I would hope I'm the first to do this. If somebody else thought about this before me, then 
kudos to them. But I'll be the first ghost hunter to do a prison food mukbang inside one of the most haunted prisons in the world. And you'll get to see what happens. I will say shortly after that, something very traumatic happened to me. And luckily, if, if anybody's ever been to Mansfield, they literally have like cameras all over the place. And then they have people watching the cameras and security and stuff. So anytime you have like a big experience, you can go back to security and hopefully they can pull it up on their cameras. So not only did we capture it on two of our cameras, but they also captured it on two of their cameras. So, and I've got their camera angles as well. So I was using, I was basically doing that as a trigger object. I used ramen noodles and crushed up Cheetos. And I sat in solitary confinement, one of the most active areas at Mansfield in a prison cell and did a mukbang. mukbang. My daughter always says I pronounce that wrong. So it's really good. So hopefully you guys, and I will say the food is actually pretty good. I don't know if it was just because I was starving or it was that good. So if anybody gets the chance, just uh, make some ramen noodles and crush up some Cheetos and toss in there. It's actually pretty good. Thank you, Blake, for the donation. Coffee on me. Appreciate it, Blake. Yeah, there's a person I watch on YouTube. They were, they're an ex-inmate. I don't know how long they spent in prison or anything like that, but they have a prison food cooking show on YouTube. And uh, so you can get some ideas. Some of the stuff, my daughters and I, we've tried some of the other stuff and it's like the prison pizza is pretty nasty. Um, the birthday cake they make with uh, honey buns is pretty nasty. But ramen noodles, I love ramen noodles, so anything with ramen noodles is pretty good. Somebody from Tennessee in here. Hello, everybody from Tennessee, UK. Corky's, my husband watches all the time. Tell your husband we said hello. I have my, uh, I don't want to see if I can. See, um, I was making sure it didn't have the address on it. See the, uh, if you guys can see that. Lucky individual from Canada will have a package on the way. I must say shipping stuff to Canada and like Australia is crazy expensive but we greatly appreciate your support so it's really not that big of a deal great smoky mountains tennessee that's one of our favorite places to go to Yes, I was in the post office today, and uh, 
there's two places I don't like going to the post office and the DMV well there's four the dentist and the doctor but anyhow and the post Shaz VS thank you so much says hey again from South Africa you have to come investigate the Cape of Good Hope Castle in Cape Town that would be epic we do need to do that I gotta work on my passport which means I gotta go back to the post office but anyhow this lady like freak well the lady at the post office she recognized she watches the show so she was kind of talking about the show and then I had to fill out some additional paperwork so I went off to the side and this other lady just freaking went nuts so it's like me and these five little old ladies behind me waiting patiently in line. And this other lady's absolutely going crazy and just ripping this lady. So I felt bad for her. So that was my experience at the post office today. A lot of angry women must go to the post office. And I will say the lady at the post office was very, very nice, so she did not deserve that. So what do you guys think? What's your least favorite place? If you had to pick one place to go hang out, it would be the post office or the DMV. Which one would you choose? We got... I'm going to turn this around so I can read some comments here in a second. The lunch lady is getting into her vehicle and she is going to be pulling out. Yeah, I feel like the post office because I never like fill anything out correct so I have to do it right there at the counter. And then you feel bad because you have so many people behind you waiting. I don't really understand how to fill out a lot of that paperwork, so. I don't know, Canada's just got a very, very strict customs policy. See you, lunch lady. Duke, the lunch lady's leaving. Say bye-bye, lunch lady. Duke. Yeah, now that I moved up five feet, it'll probably freeze. Okay, I'll flip this and read some comments. All the kids are going for a second. Let's get some shout outs, Dookie. We got Joy S. and Crystal. Duchess of Darkness. JoJo. Cherry Bomb. Colleen. Jennifer B. Kyle, Julie, Lori, Red. Now they're coming in hot, Duke. Kate, I have a question. Anderson from Germany. Emily, Victoria, Christy, Mama Bear. Oh. Okay, Dookie. So yeah, Friday night, 8 o'clock, there'll be a brand new episode. I'll figure that out today. Would you guys rather see Friday night another family haunting, or do you want to see a haunted location? Family haunting, type 1. On a location, which is really good, type two. Well, everybody's saying family haunting. There's some twos rolling in. I will say the family haunting is not like crazy long. I think it ended up being 40 some minutes.
The one I'm getting ready to put on Patreon is so good. Actually, the last two family hauntings we've done have been really, really good. And like I said, we'll go live Thursday for a little bit. A very special location. A location that a lot of you guys have asked us to go to. We just have not had the opportunity. I don't want to say just yet where it's at because typically if we do that, then we have random people showing up at the location. So we try to keep that on the down low until we're there and inside the building. And then... Looks like the ones want it. Yeah, so that's the, hopefully Rocky and Sean. Hopefully Sean's feeling better. I know he was sick all weekend and sick as of yesterday. And then with Rocky's arm or his elbow. Which I think they'll be able to make it Thursday. After that, we need to really get down to Tennessee. I'd like to get down there and do a couple sessions on location there in 